Now, as it is, um, as you can see, I'm just trying to get set up. We will be using this as a rough guide for what we want to be doing. At the moment, I'm just drawing up, so I've put in the circle at the bottom, and we're using that as a rough guide for, uh, I suppose, our centerpiece, if you want to call it that. And we're coming around just putting a few leaves in, and uh, or petals as such. Now you can see by the drawing that I actually already have the sides of my drawing drawn in. Um, that really is the border around my A3 page because I am doing it on a rolled canvas for the purpose, the same purpose as the other one. Um, they have to eventually go in a folder so they need to lay flat. I'm not doing it on a uh, pre-hung anything so you can see what I'm doing here because I'm outlining in a yellow ochre just the general shape of what I'm doing. Now if you can't um, get it to flow around your painting just use a little bit of water not a lot but the water tends to get it to flow a little better um, that's a handy hint to know that you know water will get it to flow and we're putting in here we're just putting in some of the background leaves now I haven't done as many as I did on the first one. The reason being that was just huge amounts. And as I said before, we are only using it as a, for lack of a better word, a template. Um, you know, it's not concrete. You can't get the same picture twice without mm. copying it. You literally, uh, only using it as a template. So we've got lots of different colours here. Whoops, I spilled some white. I'm going to have to uh, wash that up or I'm going to get it all over the canvas. And that won't be good. I'm so messy. So messy. That's probably under the canvas, but you never know. Who knows? Now that is enough of a guide to then turn around and paint in the extra bits in the background. Now, I'm not overly concerned about um, not touching, you know, my lines as much as I am just getting the colours mixed. Now I'm also going around the edges of um, the petals uh, because I want the background colour to come right up to the edge of where I'm painting but I don't necessarily uh, want it to all intents and purposes to be too neat and because I'm using several colors is the reason that I'm painting the background in first that way if I do go over it's not too bad I can sort of kind of blend them in or leave them or whatever the case may be I'm also not too worried about the edge because to all intents and purposes that's going to be cut off around the edge um, otherwise it won't fit in the uh, folder that I'm going to put it in for A3s um, having a little bit of trouble getting it to blend as you can see the 
canvas is really, really dry. So even having the paint as such, are not uh, making it easy. They're not flowing that well, as in color, in color. There's lots of dry patches on the canvas, therefore they're not flowing excessively well. They will only flow so far and then they stop. <laughs> now I have sped this up a little bit, not so that you can't see what I'm doing, but so that I don't bore you to tears. Now I've just got to do those little tiny bits around dark blue. All my um, paints and that sort of thing I want mark and I use those here in Australia because they are the cheapest. You can pick them up at 90% of your junk stores around the place and uh, they just make life a little bit easier to, you know, get around. Doing too, too much here, as I said, not overly concerned about making it look fantastic. Just that will dry that way and it will be perfect. Now the lighter of the colours, we're actually going to do a little bit of blending as we go. Um, with this colour, we're going to use a darker brown and go over all of the centre. Not so much all the way um, out to the circle that I put in, but close. Um, just enough to cover all of the bases of the petals and make that look like there's a round centre in the flower. Now we will be going over it again so I'm not overly concerned about where the centre patch is. Again it's a little bit like the outside we're just literally going over it purely and simply because um, we want to ensure that when we put the petals in that we've got all of the background covered. However, we're going to add some more colours in. As you can see with these petals, I'm now just adding up the, uh, making the um, lining thicker going back over the center and the reason that we're doing this is a to put some of our background colors in because we're going to be using a lighter color over the top of it so that's what the center pieces are for and we're also um, going to do this all the way around to take away the any blue that might have got in to where the petals go, any of the background colour. We're not being overly, overly careful with this process. We're just making sure that it covers and that we get all the areas covered purely and simply because if we don't, we're going to have areas left out. And making sure again that we get all of the areas well, reasonably covered. It's not perfect as per usual all of these paintings don't look the part until such times as they are finished. They look quite messy. That's okay. 
There is no right way or wrong way to do any of these paintings. You just have to remember which ones are your foreground and which ones are your background. And there, that's the only distinction between them. Literally all of your foreground, as you can see, I put the foreground in first because I needed them to have the um, centre colour to take away some of the um, brown so forth and put some highlights and dark tones in underneath the light colour that we're going to be using very shortly. Now I do apologise for reaching across. I should have actually had all of my colours next to where I was. Again, with the Mod Mart paint, they have changed the tubing, so you'll have to be aware of that. Now here I am only going halfway over the marking that I've made. Now the reason for that is A to put a little bit of colour in and B so that there is a distinctive line in between each petal. And you'll notice that by this, once I get it there. You want all your petals separated, and they are separated by the edge of the petal and individual. individual. We're not making them perfect, but we are making them as close as we can get. The good thing about this is the paint is still wet, therefore it is blending nicely as you go. You don't want to make it too, too wet though, because the reality is if it's too, too wet, you might get it blend, blending all the way through and changing the colour of your top colour. So you need to have it semi-dry. It was put on fairly dry. I didn't use any water as such in it. Hence the reason it's fairly scratchy. But like I said, you know, you want it to dry fairly quickly. So, um, and this is one of the reasons why I'm also doing a lot of the uh, artwork from the center or from the side or whatever because I have to be careful I don't put my hand in wet paint which I have a really bad habit of doing again just making it look pretty all one color but because we've got the colour underneath, it's actually showing up two colours. Oh, there's that Y. Managed to get it on the canvas. As you do. Just using a nice bright yellow. I think it's a lemon yellow that I'm using as opposed to the cadmium which is the dark one that I've left to the side. Now focusing on all of the petals on the top layer as opposed to the petals on the bottom layer at this particular stage. I'm just doing all of those because I'm doing them in a lighter colour and doing them so that they have colour underneath them. The other petals which are the next layer down will be done slightly darker, more orangey and if you were adding more and more layers you would again be making each layer darker.
So you do have the opportunity to add as many layers as you like. Flowers are one of those things where you can have whatever you like. I mean, I've technically called it a sunflower uh, because it's nice and bright, but sunflowers have more than two layers. Nope, reaching across again. No doubt about me. Even though I haven't used a lot of orange in that particular colour, it is just full on. And I've used a lot more cadmium yellow, but it's still very, very orange. And unfortunately, paint dries darker than uh, what it is in the thing. Now again, I'm not going all the way up. I am leaving just a fraction of brown so that you can see all the way around. Now it's not perfect, but it's just a fraction, just enough. Now these are distinguishing the back petals from the foreground, they will be a little bit closer to the colour, to the yellow, once we get them done. But I need to put them in darker so that you can see them. As I said, this is painstaking watching me paint. It's always more fun when you're doing it yourself. making sure that I get the uh, edges done. Now, as you can see, finally, the uh, blue is dry. And the other colors may be getting close to dry. up there. You can see what I'm doing. Leaving ever so slight. And that gives the uh, little bit of depth in the background and still distinguishing between the back petals and the light petals that are in front of it. Slightly careful, just not to uh, get it over too much of the areas I don't want it to be. I only want it to be in certain areas for obvious reasons. So they are the areas you focus on. Almost done with this colour. You make heaps of it. What we don't use in this one, I'll have to use in one of the others. And I'm not overly fussy about whether or not it's mixed correctly. As you can see, we've got light and dark and all sorts of different colours coming through. Eh, it's just mixed. I'm not overly concerned about whether or not it's mostly yellow. Okay. Now, I need to make this somewhat lighter. So I'm taking some of that orange and I'm mixing it with some white. More than anything so that I can actually add another colour in and make it look the part.
there is no set pattern to this. Flower petals are random. We have a little bit more around the center, but again, not too, too much, purely and simply because we also have some of that brown there. Putting the lighter colour in some of the orange to make a distinction. I'm not too too worried about that either because again we're going over it. We have a dark brown this time. It's not black, it is a dark brown. And the reason we're doing that, we're only using a really small brush or the tip of a really small brush because basically we're just adding some dots in, making a centre piece. We're going to add some lighter dots in at the same time. So we've got some dark dots we're going to use our white and add in some lighter dots to make the center. Because that's more of what it actually looks like, believe it or not. And the same is pretty much true for 99.9% .9 of the flowers. All made up of dots, not really one colour. You just have to look at the dots to know that there's different darker and lighter. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, now we've got the dark colour coming through. We are actually going over the orange. And a little bit over the, uh, well, we will be very shortly, a little bit over the normal coloured petals as well. So that it all looks like there you go. Just so that it's got some of that colour coming through it. We're not going over the whole thing. Um, we're leaving little patches of light. With the orange though, we are going over all of it. And you know, one of the reasons we're going over it is purely and simply to make it look like it's all part of the one flower. We don't want it too dark because then it looks like it's an add-on. Whereas if we uh, have it all the same colour, or at least similar in colour, it looks like it um, belongs to them. They are very similar in colour and looking like they're all part of the same flower, just darker petals. And again, not being too, too overly um, phased about it, purely and simply allowing a little bit of the contrast colour to come through. So just making it so that it's uneven but it looks the part. Oh, a little bit too bright need some brightness and some darkness. Yep, same with that one. And a little bit of the contrast colour coming through and nothing major. And that pretty much is um, it. We're just adding a little bit more contrast through it 
We um, usually do this with a dry brush. As you can see, we're just brushing that on, making it so that we've got a little bit of contrast in the petals. If I had my time over, I probably would do it a little bit. I was trying to get away from the olive greens, but perhaps I would have made up a little bit of an orange, uh, sorry, an olive green, um, like in the other one. The one we started with was an olive green in the center, whereas this one is more, it's the dark brown. I don't know which one's correct. Hmm. I suppose I should find out, but it doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it. Simple, simple flower. Thanks. Join us again next time. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.